I'm seeing a lot of people who are concerned that the that the country, the republic, will be torn apart by this. And people are thinking already, it's already being torn apart. Um, you know, we're in completely different realities now, and um, things are going to fall apart, and we're going to impeach the, you know, starting to impeach everybody. We're going to be impeach the president and impeach the Supreme Court, and they'll be marching in the street and all of that. Let me give you the optimist view of what's happening. Number one, our country has never been stronger in all of the important ways. We've never been stronger. Individually, we're less racist and less sexist than we have ever been. All right? When you look at the news, it would be easy to imagine that things are falling apart because that's the nature of the news. It's supposed to wind you up. If the news doesn't wind you up, you're not going to be clicking on stuff. And they need you to click on stuff like a chicken with a pellet. So when you're watching the news, talking about it, just imagine yourself as this chicken. You're, you're in an experiment, and there's a pellet here. This is what you should imagine. You're the chicken, and here's the pellet, and here you are watching the news. Uh, here's some more news. Pellet. Pellet. All right. So that's my, imag- that's my impression of us watching the news. If you remove yourself from that chicken eating a pellet world, this artificial world that the, that the big tech companies have created and put you in this little mental prison where you think that the stuff that's on TV is important and real and critical and the world is going to blow up. And if it, and if you want to stop it, you better click, click. I better click. I can save the world if I click. If I just stay on Twitter a little bit longer, I can save the world. It's going to fall up. All right. That's, that's a big artificial, artificial thing that you're feeling. 